5G. You've heard of it, but what the hell is it? And how is it supposed to make your life better? In the most basic terms, 5G is the fifth generation of mobile connectivity, which is destined to replace the 4G icon on the top left corner of your phone screen. 5G has now been official for the past year, but it won't start rolling out immediately. But experts, mobile providers, and tech companies are already going wild about how 5G will change the way we use the internet. So, what can it do? Compared to the current network speed, which is 4G LTE, 5G is expected to be 30 to 50 times faster. To give you some perspective, it would take an hour to download an HD movie over a 4G LTE network. But with 5G, the same HD movie would download in mere seconds. That's because it's expected to have download speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second. In a way, getting 5G will be like upgrading from a garden hose to a fire hose. Open wide! <laughs> with 5G, Data will also download and stream in higher capacities. So networks like HBO would no longer crash when millions of people are trying to watch the season premiere of Game of Thrones. Streaming higher quality video like Ultra HD and 3D video would also be faster and easier. So 5G will be great for VR and AR experiences. Another improvement for 5G is that it will be more responsive and reduce latency, which means that when a download says one minute left, it actually means there's only one minute left. It won't suddenly turn into five minutes or an hour once that minute is over. Devices are expected to last longer on a charge with a 5G connection, since it will supposedly be more power efficient. Experts claim batteries will last 10 times longer than when fetching data from a 4G connection. Of course, all of these promises should be taken with a grain of salt. Advertised network speeds are usually heavily marketed, but don't live up to the expectation. For example, 4G LTE is advertised as being capable of running up to 10 times faster than 3G. But it all depends on what device you're using and what city you live in. So it's safe to say that 5G should be welcome, but with a bit of skepticism. US carriers' target for full 5G implementation is by 2020. But that's an ambitious goal, since it's a whole infrastructure that needs to be built nationwide, consisting of new devices and networks. However, companies such as Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile have already started running 5G trials in major cities across the country, including New York, Dallas, LA, and Atlanta. But even if you live in those cities, you won't be able to access 5G speeds because your phone doesn't support it. You'll have to wait until next year to start seeing 5G-enabled smartphones. Wireless networks have been evolving approximately every 10 years since 1G was implemented in 1982, and they have to keep evolving in order to keep up with new gadgets that require a faster, stronger internet connection. But since no one is actually using 5G at the moment, it's still hard to know what it can and can't do. Regardless, it's good to know that new speeds are on the horizon.